Also, poor Mia. Like, he is prego. We ain't talking about the pasta sauce. Gotta be starving. Also, been on the nose. Considering we have never seen Mia show any kind of motherly kind of instincts or behaviors or whatever. Never had, she never had any younger siblings explain this, so it's already kind of hinting at her having a kid. So I didn't pick up that kind of hint as a kid, but as an adult, oh, it's obvious. Well, or just that shot could have really told me. Pregnant. Well, there's also the uh, kind of cliche, immediately, I need to puke sort of thing. So, I could be wrong, because both times I've had kids, my wife has never really had the kind of morning sickness. Either that or she just doesn't tell. She only ever had one time where she puked, and that was just because we were cooking and we had raw meat and it was kind of bleeding a little, and that made her puke. But other than that, it's like, I don't know, I've never really seen it. I mean, she ain't showing. Gotta be pretty early on. And then we got Vince here, and uh, Dude Face and Dude Face 2. They, they don't look very happy to see... Um, it's your sister. Why aren't you happy to see your sister? Is it because they don't want him doing risky jobs like this? He doesn't look pleased. Ah, oh, like sister. Brother like sister. Sister like brother. I'll beat your face in <laughs> with a blunt object. Yeah. Just like a Toretto. What do you mean? Is that, is that an appropriate thing to say? You went to prison for beating a dude with a wrench. You're just like me. You'll be in prison one day too for the exact same reason. I can see it now. Brian. <laughs> Your pull-out game is terrible. <laughs> That's a really precarious spot to be for a pregnant woman. Just saying. Not trying to be sexist or anything. How has she not had a miscarriage? This is really not good for her. That's a really conveniently person-sized hole. We got lucky we just got. What happens next time? We have no choice but to split up. Pregnant. Are you kidding me? No. Okay, don't start making out. Jesus. His brother! Her brother! Why did I say his? Her brother is right there. Promise me we stick together. Promise. I mean, it's all about family. Makes sense. That's that's what it's all about. Not to be cheesy. I mean, because in case you guys aren't aware, my kid was born last week. I've got two kids now, and I'm home for like 12 weeks of unpaid time. And I'm like, you know what? I'm eating all of that because for the most part, I can afford it. That's fine. Just have to budget a little bit. And um, I get to spend time with my family, not lose my job. I can also dodge the winter weather a little bit. And not have to drive a semi on black ice, hopefully. But, um, yeah, man. Being home, being with my family, it's almost like a vacation. I'm getting about the same amount of sleep as I was before, not gonna lie, but I am still sleeping better. It's just, it is pretty irreplaceable once you get it. So, I am happier to be home, that's for sure. Even though it's cheesy and it's a bit of a trope with this kind of movie franchise, I think um, this is kind of before they went a little silly with it. You know, the value of family. That, that's that's important. It's a good it's a good theme and a good message to have. What do you remember about your father? My father he used to uh, he used to have a barbecue every Sunday after church for anybody in the neighborhood. If you didn't go to church, you didn't get any barbecue. Every single day he was in the shop, and every single night he was at the kitchen table with Mia, helping her with her homework. Even after she went to sleep, he'd stay up for a few more hours so he could learn the next chapter and help her the next day. 
Damn, that's the extra mile. I wish I had that kind of time. And that would be fantastic. Because, oh Jesus, when I have to start helping my kids with their math homework, I'm going to make their IQ drop. <laughs> that's uh, that's going to be a struggle. A lot of other stuff, though, is going to be interesting. Because that's one way you can kind of see what kind of new knowledge there is to learn. Hopefully. I don't remember shit about my dad. I don't remember him yelling. I don't remember him smiling. To be honest with you, I don't even remember what the hell he looked like. Is it weird that the relationships with Mia especially, it's, it's either like Mia or Letty or something like that, that kind of, the relationships are kind of the, uh, the extra vehicle that kind of catapults the story forward. Like Brian's relationship with Mia in the first movie, Dom's with Letty's, and all that sort of stuff that, I can't remember which director said it, that the women, the female characters are the really important, like some of the most important elements of these movies. Which I think is mostly true throughout most of the franchise. Who is these clowns, man? Circus clowns. I thought cockfights were illegal in Brazil. That is the sort of thing I would say. <laughs> I wouldn't be involved. I'd be just be on the sidelines talking trash. Home sweet home. <laughs> You're also pregnant with my wife, my sister's child, but I'm also going to bring you to this thought village. <laughs> How are we supposed to get Reyes' handprint? Han, you're up. Sure. Nothing like the easy stuff. Let's go. I'll drive. <laughs> Dom's just like, I'm playing Cupid over here. I'm gonna hook my man Han up. <laughs> so your dream is to start start a day job? That's, that's stupid. Like, why would... Nah, it's not stupid at all, man. I love what I do. Nah, that don't make no sense to me. No one I'm gonna... <laughs> I mean, if you love what you're doing, it's never a... You never work a day in your life if you love your job. But I will say, you want to make sure it never feels like something you have to do. Because, because then it just becomes a task, and then you put it off, and then it's not fun, because you're not looking forward to it anymore. I know that you're all set for this job tomorrow, but... If you need an extra man... You're in. There's always room for family. Family. I love, I, I think the use of the whole family meta in this movie is, is still fairly tasteful. It's not, it's not god-awful. It, it only becomes really irritating once you get to, I feel like the sixth movie and definitely the seventh movie. That it starts becoming just kind of a cliche. Thank you. What about your family, Vince? Are, are they okay? You believe being a cause is a curse. <laughs> she might be right. Interesting. That's actually a callback to the last film. Th that's... They pay attention to some of the strangest details in their own films. I don't understand. <laughs> like, some things they just completely forget about, and others it's like, Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this one line they said. Yeah, I need a refill. This is serious stuff. No, I'm good. Cheers, baby. I'm good. No, thank <laughs> oh, you. Yeah. No, she can't. What do you mean? She can't. What do you mean she can't? Are you serious right now? <laughs> is that the reason you let him beat you in the quarter mile? <laughs> that is that is actually very sweet and wholesome. You can tell that, you know, Paul and Tyrese and all of them are They've actually got this rapport, that they actually really like each other. Well, because Craig one time said that Paul said to him, obviously, I'm regurgitating Craig Lieberman's story that he once told to me, that Paul once said that he doesn't, and this isn't word for word, obviously, that he doesn't see himself as an actor. He just likes guns, cars, movies, surfing, all that kind of stuff. As long as they keep paying me, I'm going to keep doing it. So it's more so... He's not seeing it as, like, I'm an actor. He's just going, I just love doing this. What, whatever this happens to be. So I think that's, um... I think that's why this cast, at least at this stage in the franchise, is really cool. Because you can tell they all just really like each other. Especially with, you know, Tyrese, Paul, Vin, and all of them. They just, they clearly get along and care about each other. Especially in the behind-the-scenes stuff. It's very apparent. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank you. Oh, crazy, huh? It's your boy. What is what is the I'm trying to remember. Because Brian doesn't have 
I mean, they're all congratulating him and, and being real nice to him, but I'm just trying to think, like, because you got... What's Gal Gadot's character's name? <laughs> Shoot! What the hell is her name? God damn it, Wonder Woman, what's your name? Because you got Gal Gadot's character, you got Han, um, Tej in Rome, obviously. But it's like, I don't know, I, it, it feels like they've... There's some buildup of relationships here that you haven't quite seen on screen yet. Because they're already kind of acting like the family. Um, when they should really, in my opinion, if I was pacing this, they'd be acting like a family kind of after this moment. Because Dom's about to give like a speech, ain't he? Money will come and go. We know that. The most important thing in life will always be the people in this room. Right here. Right now. Salute me, familia. Salute. 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 I think that is peak family kind of trope right there for Fast Five. And then they just kind of dial it up for the rest of the franchise for some reason. You were always my brother. I got eyes on me going now. Oh, the group is back together. Finish the job. Are you crazy, Dom? We can't. It's a suicide mission. Why? I mean, probably would have pulled it off. You just got interrupted. 